Hey sweet friends, thank you guys so much for clicking in today's video. It's been like weeks since I haven't recorded. Um, but for you guys it might have been like a week or two. It's been a while since I haven't like updated you guys on what's going on. But um, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what is in my hospital bag. Um, so if you guys want to see what I'm going to be carrying in my hospital bag then just keep on watching if you guys are new to my channel hi welcome my name is bernice i am a stay-at-home mom to two boys i have a six-year-old his birthday just passed august 2nd and then um i'll be having a four-year-old in september and I am currently 37 weeks pregnant. That's the reason why I am making this video. If you guys have not followed my journey, which I haven't posted anything much here on my channel. But it has to do because of my pregnancy. I haven't really been like in the mood of recording or any of that. But I did share my um, baby shower. If you guys have not seen that video. I'll, I'll art card it up here and then also have it linked in the description box if you guys want to go ahead and watch that video if you guys haven't. But yes, I am 37 weeks pregnant as of today and um, I'm getting finally my bag ready because, you know, baby can come at any time. So I will be using this bag. It's actually just a basic backpack. You guys, I've used this as a regular diaper bag. It did its work and it is going to do my work for having all of my essentials for my hospital bag. Um, since this is going to be my third baby, I feel like I already know what to take and not overpack. I'm pretty sure what I'll be sharing with you guys is a pretty basic list of items that you guys can also take if you're a first time mommy. So if you guys are watching this and this is your first pregnancy um you guys will literally just use what i'm going to be sharing with you guys so i hope this is very educational and inspiring for those of you mommies to be and then also for future mommies to be <laughs> so yes i'm going to be using this backpack um so i'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys i do have i did make a list of everything just to kind of like make sure that I did have everything um, but I'm pretty sure to have already everything in here which I'll be sharing with you guys so on my hospital bag for the third time going in I kind of minimized everything from when I first went um, so the first thing that I'm obviously going to be taking is my wallet and my basically what I carry in my wallet which is my ID, um, insurance, all that stuff because you obviously will be needing to provide that to your doctor just in case um, if they don't have it on file. But um, that's what I put on. The second thing that I um, added to my list was a pajama set for after birth. Um, I know once you're done giving birth, what you want to do is change into something more comfortable so um anything that has to do with like a little pjs to kind of lounge around before you do actually shower or you know just to have it after your shower so that way you feel more fresh more and more put together so i did went to walmart yesterday and i bought myself just a top because that's all i needed is just a top so i just got this basic black top um, and then um, I will be pulling out a bottom pajamas that I have here. So um, I didn't want to be splurging too much on this visit to the doctors. Um, but that's all I needed from that. The next thing that you guys might want to put on to your guys' list is underwear. If you guys don't feel, if this is the first time you guys going, they do give you underwear to use while you are bleeding yourself away um, don't panic you know bleeding obviously is going to occur if you guys do deliver vaginally they do give you some sort of underwear 
which looks pretty funny but those are actually really really comfortable to have around i am going to be taking three pair of underwears just in case if i want to feel more comfortable in my underwears i have something like this that i can use and you can obviously throw these away afterwards or wash them you guys can definitely wash them um you know don't but um it's up to you if you want to wash them if you want to throw them away it's totally up to you but you obviously you're going to need underwear and with underwear you will be needing a bra um i don't wear nursing bras um uh i haven't been able to nurse completely with my kids and you guys know that milk does not come out as soon as you have your kid it does take time but i am going to be taking just a regular sports bra this is basically what i wear every single time i don't wear any more of those cute fancy bras this is all i wear this is more comfortable for me so i will be taking two of these and then um you guys will be needing either comfy socks or slippers or sandals um it's totally up to you guys if you guys want to take slippers it all depends also on the the time the season right now i will be delivering in august it is still warm here in california um but i will be taking two pairs of sandals one to use um while i shower and the other one just to come home because your girl has swollen feet and the only sandals that I've been able to wear are these men's sandals. I am a big girl and also have big feet. And then along with the swelling, um, those were the only things that I've been able to wear. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to be wearing. But during my stay in of my uh, the pregnancy of the, the labor I am going to be wearing these ballerina no show socks i found these and i thought these were so convenient for the occasion your girl didn't have time as you guys can tell to go to her nails so i will be putting these on and these are really cute and they come with really cute designs and you guys can either toss them you know or just wash them i'm going to wash them a lot of people say hospital floors are dirty, but to be honest with you guys, I'm pretty sure the hospital floors are more cleaner than per usual, but yeah. <laughs> Next thing that I'm going to be taking that you guys will obviously will be needing is a going home outfit. Um, also, depending on the occasion, just remember that and how comfortable you want to feel, you can wear either leggings and a t-shirt or something like that or a dress i asked myself i'm going to be wearing a dress um i already showed this in a haul before but this is the dress that i'm going to be going home with um and it kind of looks like the one that i wore for my um baby shower but this is in a blue and it is very very long so this is going to be okay i don't know when they'll be discharging me either in the morning or at night but I feel like dress you're comfortable in it and if it's hot outside you're okay and if it's cold I will be having a little black jacket with me in case if I do deliver at um, in case if they do um discharge me at night I have that to cover myself and that is my going home outfit nothing too fancy you're literally coming from the hospital, driving, and then coming back home. So you do not need to look extra fancy, extra pretty. So something comfortable. Next things that I found very, very useful are hairbrushes and hair ties. You guys will thank me. If you guys are new, will thank me that you guys put a hairbrush and a hair tie in your bag because... You know you really need to take those knots off your hair <laughs> and especially after you shower um, and then also hair tie I will be taking one more hair tie because I'm planning on doing braids um, um, the day that I go to my um, 
the day that baby is ready to come out I will be making braids so that's why I'm going to add one more of these but it's always good to have a hairbrush on hand because you just never know so definitely definitely a must a hairbrush and also a hair tie and then next thing is the toiletries um, this is my toiletry bag I did have this bag already made um, a really long time ago um, we were going to go for my nephew's um, baptism back at the beginning of 2020 um, but you guys know what happened and we couldn't go but I did have this already made I just added maybe like one or two things in here but you're gonna definitely need um, shampoo and conditioner um, body wash toothpaste deodorant toothbrush lotion the loofah anything that has to do with toiletry everything's all in here except for the toothbrushes but I have them right here so definitely need your toiletry in handy because you just want to have your toiletries on hand obviously the hospital gives you what the hospital offers but um, you guys can take your guys' stuff and you know have your go-to um, products with you and then the last toiletry item is obviously a towel I'm only gonna take one towel which is going to be my body towel and um, I was thinking of taking another one but I rather just use the one that they're gonna give me at the hospital for my hair and then this for my body so definitely don't overpack towels they obviously give you some at the hospital um, but they're very small and very thin but you can obviously use that for your hair. Just make sure that you take one for your body. And those are all the basic things that you guys are going to need. Obviously, you're going to need um, like your phone charger, which is what I have here. I do have this one that it's already wrapped, but I do have an extra one just in case if my husband um, is going to need it at the same time as I'll be needing it. Um, but we do have a lot of extra chargers also with their heads. So definitely have your chargers with you. Also, um, any camera chargers if you guys are planning on taking cameras. Um, make sure that you guys do have SD cards and your chargers with you guys at all times. Put it somewhere where your spouse is able to find it ASAP because you guys know men find, have to find things at sight. And then the last thing that you want to make sure to take is headphones if you guys are not okay. And I just put this because it made more sense to me. But I like to listen to either music or watch videos. I like to listen to it in my ear. So I will be bringing my headphones. Um, it is not something that you guys necessarily need. But if you guys are... If you guys do have spare time and want to watch a movie or a show or, you know, a content creator's video, you guys definitely have the your headphones and your phone there ready to watch. So definitely take those. Like, um, I feel like I'm taking basic stuff, like I said, um, and I feel like this is all you need for first time moms. So I hope this video was educational and also fun for you guys to watch if you guys did make sure that you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you guys are not yet part of my family here on youtube you guys know that by subscribing it really does help my channel grow and i would really appreciate it if you guys do follow my journey here on youtube with that said i hope you guys have a wonderful day please stay safe and i will catch you guys up in my next video bye